when you allow episodic history like Egyptian history, you see, that's why I say you can't understand Kemet if you don't understand Kush, because there, 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 there is a long lasting dynastic legacy that would lead Africans from inner Africa straight up into Kemet to create what they created. But when you can cut off the head and you can create an episode, then you can slide Indo-Europeans in like we got now, I will claim <clears throat> that they were part of the builders of the pyramids. They didn't even exist when the pyramids went up. Uh -huh. They weren't even in that land area. The people that are in Egypt today are like the Europeans in America today. They were not here thousands of years ago. No more than the people who are there now. They came mass into Africa after 600 whatever when um, Caliphate. Islam was up. Caliphate. And, um... Okay. That's when they traveled, but they were not here before. And the only thing that I ask them all the time is, wow, that's some great, great building you did. But where is it where you come from? You, you mean to tell me that you came to Africa, you left your land and came to Africa to build things that you didn't build in your own land? Exactly. How did you do that? What was it about Africa that made you do the, what you did that you didn't do in your own neighborhood? What, what was, and then why didn't you go back and do it there? After you learned how to do it in Africa, why didn't you go back and do it where you came from? Well, and we know the answer, Brother Kaba, and that is because the Africans had done this and African scribes and priests did not give the sacred knowledge away mm -hmm. immediately. This is why a lot of the temples were destroyed, you know, and this is why a lot of the ancient science has been lost 